And then when we pulled up to the house, we were so surprised to see that this property we had under contract had been burned severely. <laughs> you might as well say it's been burned down. I'll try to show you some footage of it, but we're not gonna go down there. It's got it's yellow not tape. It's not even salvageable. So guys, we're live on location at a property that we have under contract. Um, we are in our due diligence period was literally getting a quote from someone to um, see what the quote would be to cut down the trees and also put a driveway here when we purchased the property because we wanted to make sure we had everything intact so when we close we're able to start the renovation immediately. And, and then when we pulled up to the house and we were so surprised to see that this property we had under contract had been burned severely. You might as well say it's been burned down. I'll try to show you some footage of it, but we're not going to go down there. It's got yellow it's tape. Sal it's not even salvageable. Yeah, so the plan uh, will warrant a new exit strategy, one that we had not considered. The two options that were on the table for us was to f complete the renovations that the previous owner had started to rent it out or to uh, perhaps extend it a little bit to make it a more competitive uh, unit to sell it, or at least lose a bedroom and make it a two bedroom right. that would be more competitive to sell. Uh, so now those options are all gone. So we have to come up with a new exit strategy, which we've got some ideas, but it's gonna require a lot more research to try something that we've never done before, so. Yeah, so let's take a look. There's the house, well, so, uh, what's left of the house. So this is what we saw when we came up. As you can see, well, we, we had a guy coming to meet us here to talk about putting in a gravel road. The road would have a gravel driveway would have extended from right here I'm at the street and all of this we were going to put a gravel driveway leading down to what was a house well there's still a half of a house but that's completely the roof is gone the whole right half of the house is pretty much gone and you see it taped up we found out from the neighbors that this just happened yesterday morning and uh you know, so we had an opportunity to meet with the other folks involved in this transaction, and uh, we'll try to figure out where we go from here. But we are still in due diligence period. That's I'm glad about that because I don't know. I'll, it'll be an interesting thing for my realtor to address now or maybe at some point. What happens if we were outside of due diligence? That's why it's very important to um, have a due diligence, <laughs> and it's good. It's interesting that this happened during the due diligence, but now we do have to go back to the negotiating table because the contract that we had is no longer a valid contract because we were contracted to purchase the house, house <laughs> and the right. house is not part of the um, equation now. Right. So. Well, this was disappointing, you know, but one of the things in real estate, always be flexible. Always be flexible, you always have, and never fall in love with a property and know that unexpected things will happen. It's interesting yep. because the video that we did showing when we were doing the cost of repairs, I said, well, we're gonna have unexpected expenses. Um, didn't know we were gonna have unexpected occurrences where the house was gonna be having to be demolished. Right. But that's part of it. Right. So if you're going to go into real estate investing, have a strong heart. Yep, strong and heart, be optimistic. strong stomach. Speaking of which, I'm hungry again. Let's go All eat. All right, let's go eat. Bye. Bye.